In this video, I show you how to enable virtualization or SVM mode on your AMB motherboard and specifically an MSI motherboard, but it should still work. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this. Here we are on my PC. And the first thing we need to do is get into your BIOS on your motherboard, specifically your MSI motherboard. So to do that, what we need to do is go and enter safe mode on Windows, and then we can go and get to our BIOS. So to do that, we need to go and restart your computer while holding the shift button. So go and click on the start button on Windows just down here, just like so. And then you need to go and tap on the power button just here. And as you can see, we've got this restart option. And what you need to do is click on restart while holding shift. So here we are about to click just like so. And as you can see, it's going to go and say, please wait. And in a moment, it's going to go and say restarting. All you need to do is sit back and wait. For some reason, it's going to switch to my second monitor. That does not matter. So you're going to be on the screen called choose an option. And this is the window safe mode. And what you want to do is go and tap on troubleshoot just like so. And then go and tap advanced options and then go and tap on UEFI firmware settings, change settings in your PC's UEFI firmware, which is your BIOS. Then all we need to do is go and tap restart just like so, and then your PC is gonna restart and your BIOS will load. And now here we are on my BIOS using my MSI motherboard. Now it's important to note the setting we're looking for, which is the virtualization setting, it's got slightly different names, even though we're still using the same MSI motherboard. So the other names it may be called is the SVM, or the AMD Virtualization Technology, Virtualization Technologies, or something called Vanderpool. So that's what the setting could be called. Usually it's SVM, but it may be called those, as I just said. Now, all you want to do is get your CPU settings. So to do this on my motherboard, we need to go to my overclocking settings, but sometimes you get it straight from your settings, but in this case, it's my overclocking settings. Then all we need to do is go and scroll down on this page here. And as you can see at the bottom, we've got this option for CPU features. Tap on that there. And then, as you can see here, we've got the SVM mode. So go and tap on it and make sure you go and tap on enabled. As you can see, mine's already selected enabled and that's why. And then once you've made that setting, we can go and change it. Then all you need to do is go and press on the cross in at the top right, just like so. And as you can see, it says you haven't made any changes because mine was already enabled, but it's likely you just enabled yours. So make sure you change and um, save that by clicking save or yes. And then what's gonna happen is, your PC is going to restart and Windows is going to go and load normally. You've now got virtualization enabled and you can go and use it for whatever you'd like. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.